Hey, chillax. I'll just get another loan from the bank. They love me. Welcome back to Learn English with Pixar. Today we are going to be learning some everyday business terms from the movie Despicable Me. So how did it go, girls? Did we meet our quotas? Mm, sorta. We sold 43 mini mints, 30 taco swirlies, and 18 coconutties. Miss Hattie asks the girls if they have met their quota. So how did it go, girls? Did we meet our quota? In this clip, Miss Hattie is basically asking the girls if they have sold enough cookies. Meeting a quota is a term often used in business. So for instance, if I'm a car salesperson and my quota is 10 cars, then I need to sell 10 cars in order to meet my quota. Or if I work in a factory and I make masks, then my quota, if it's a hundred masks, I need to make a hundred masks to meet my quota. It's basically like a goal. Let's listen to some sample dialogues. What's your sales quota? I have to sell $50,000 worth of computers this month, but I don't think I'm going to meet my quota. Do you have to meet a quota for your job? Yeah, I usually have to produce at least five cars per month in order to meet my quota. How did you guys do this month? Well, we met our quota this time, but next month our quota goes up to 20,000, so I don't think we're going to be able to meet that. This is typically a business term, so you'll probably hear this at work, talking about sales or production. Um, and this works in formal or informal conversations. Yes, hello, bro. I've been crunching some numbers, and I really don't see how we can afford this. Dr. Nefario says he crunched some numbers. Now, crunching numbers basically means you're doing a complicated calculation. So, for instance, if you are deciding if you want to buy a home, or invest in some company, you should crunch some numbers to decide if it's a good investment. Hello, bro. I've been crunching some numbers. And I really don't see how we can afford this. Uh, so in this clip, when Dr. Nefario says he was crunching some numbers, he means he did some calculations. Let's take a look at some sample dialogue, shall we? Should we buy a house this year? I'm not sure. I need to crunch some numbers and see if we can afford it. I did some number crunching and I think we'll have some money left to open a new store. Can you crunch some numbers and see if we should invest in that new company? Yeah, it looks good. I think we'll make a lot of money. And I crunched some numbers and found out that it's only going to take me 39 years to reach a million subscribers. Anytime you're talking about doing a complicated calculation for investing or you're talking about any kind of big business decision, then you can say, I need to crunch some numbers. You have any idea of the capital that this bank has invested in you, crew? With far too few of your sinister plots actually turning a profit. Mr. Perkins, the evil guy, says that far too few of Gru's projects are turning a profit. Turn a profit is a business way to say make money. So what he's really saying when he says far too few of Gru's projects turn a profit, it means Gru's projects don't make money or they're not profitable. Do you have any idea of the capital that this bank has invested in you, Gru? With far too few of your sinister plots actually turning a profit. Let's take a look at some examples. I crunched some numbers on our performance this year and because of coronavirus, we're not going to turn a profit. How is your company doing? Are you guys making money? Yep, we're finally turning a profit now after sales went up. It's hard to turn a profit when you first start your business. So like I mentioned before, this is a term in business used to mean make money. Typically, when you're talking to, in a formal conversation, you can just say uh, this project or this business is making money or they're not making money. 
but you can also use the term turn a profit if you want to be a little bit more formal. So those are a few business terms that people use in everyday conversation. If you like my video, go ahead and like that. And you can also subscribe if you really, really like the videos. And of course, make sure to leave a comment and tell me what you want to see next and if you find these videos helpful. If you're interested in learning other commonly used spoken English phrases and words, go ahead and go back to my channel and check out some of the other videos. Or you can take a look at my other Despicable Me video and learn some other cool phrases. Anyway, see you later.